What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good, brother. How you doing, man? I'm doing lovely, blessed, man. Congratulations like on, uh, on the on uh, the album release. Man, thank you, man. How did you How did you like it? What you heard? So you know, I enjoyed it. You know what track really stood out to me was the uh, ones you did with the cool kids. Man, it, it, for some reason it, it it was something that kind of different. It is. It is. I think that's gonna be a big record, man. We we definitely gonna shoot a video for it, man. And I I think people gonna embrace it. So. Okay, can you tell them a little bit more about the Dark Room? Man, Dark Room is basically a label of love. Um, it's the it's it's an album in the series. It's like a two part series: Dark Room and Photo Album. Dark Room is where you develop the pictures back in the day, mm -hmm. and so um, it's really the most personal album um, that I have, and it's something that we really decided to keep independent because it's so personal. We didn't really want to compromise. We didn't want to go in and have an a and r tell us what kind of record to make and what song should be the radio record. We wanted to do this organic label of love. I really wanted to um, control how my first look was going to be. It's like I've been right. in different situations with different labels and I was in a situation and I was always uneasy because I didn't have control of my first look and I was so scared to the first album would drop and it wouldn't really represent who I was, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And 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 that's important. It's like you only get one chance to make the first impression. And I believe that in God's time and he brought it here so that I could have control of it. And that's what the dark room really is, man. It's a it's a labor of love. It's raw uncut. If you really love hip hop, if you love lyrics, it's something that you're gonna put in the will and that you're gonna be listening to it's gonna stay there for a couple of months man. So, who are uh, some of the people that you worked with for dark oh uh, man i mean it's executive produced by no id he did more than half of the album oh, okay. um and shouts to him prolific also produced on it um sc produced on it 1120 produced on it uh the legendary tracks that produced on it uh it it has features from bun b killer mike like you said the cool kids Gilly the Kid, Chip the Ripper, Mr. Fab, uh, Crooked Eye. Oh wow! Uh, so <laughs> oh, a lot I, of reached, on this I reached out to a lot of, and, and it's just I've been blessed that people that I look up to, like Bun B and Crooked Eye and Killer Mike, that they turn out to be fans of Mickey Halstead as well, and so that they reached out. It's like everything was out of my pocket. I didn't pay for none of them verses. It's like I don't have no big bag of money. And like we we've turned down bags of money uh, that was the wrong kind of money because we want to fund this the right way and, and this is really a labor of love like you can ask my wife and she'll tell you like this is money out of our you know we really did this you know what I'm saying and, and so my team um, is just been phenomenal and I believe this dark room is going it's going to really go down in history and be considered a classic album like some of the classic albums that I grew up listening to right. But actually, uh, where can the people find the album? Right? They're going to be able to find it on iTunes, of course. You're going to be able to find it at MickeyHalstead.com. Also, physical copies. Uh, we really doing something different, man. We market it to a lot of the lifestyle stores. So, Leaders, Fly, uh, Success, uh, DTLR. You're going to be able to find it anywhere you go to get fresh. It's a fresh piece of music, so you're going to be able to go in there and get it. Also, we dealing with the mom and pops as well. Um, so you're going to be able to get physical copies always at any Mickey Halstead show and at select places. And we treat it like it's limited edition. So it's like we, it's not going to be, we're not shipping a million copies nowhere. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do limited editions and, and, and for the people that really understand and know the music and believe in the music that want to rip open that cover and rip open the casing and the packaging and, and read the credits on the CD. And so it's a lot of hardcore Mickey Halstead fans out here and I've been noticing that more and more. And so God has blessed me with that kind of fan base to start off with. So we definitely going to give them what they want. Man. Okay, so you mentioned pa passing up the uh, big bags of money. Yeah, yeah. Going the independent route is a lot harder. So, what made you think that you were ready for something like that, the grind that goes along with it? Uh, it's a lot harder, but it's a lot more rewarding. And it's like, I feel like, man, I have the team, I have the intelligence, I had a work ethic to go out there and get it. And it's like, um, I didn't want anybody looking over my shoulder telling me what to do, what not to do and with this project and what to put on it, what not to put on it. Like, I really wanted this to be for the people. And this album is for the people. It's what the people want. 
It's like they want an alternative to what they already have. And you know, people look at sales as being down, it's because there's no viable alternative for people to get. And so, Dark Room is that, man. It gives the people that's fans of real hip hop, that's fans of real lyricism, lyricism um, a chance to go out and show that they support in a real way, you know what I'm saying, with their money. Right. So that's what it's about. So you said this is a very personal album for you, so out of all the tracks on the album, how many tracks on the album? Man, about 18. Okay, so all 18 tracks on the album, which one would you say is your most personal song on there, and why? I would have to say Respect Mine. It's produced by No ID. Uh, it features Camila Sumner, dope R&B artist, soul singer, and um, it's basically about my struggle. It's about how, um, it's a fight for respect. It's a fight to be on the same landscape and the same playing field as uh, the Kanye's and the Lil Wayne's and all of those people that are on it. It's, it's like, man, I might have took the scenic route and went the long way, which is a harder way. And I might not have got drafted straight out of high school um, to the big time. And I chose to go to school first. And, so you like the Dwayne Wade? Yeah, uh, exactly. I mean, that, that, and that's that's what it's all about. It's really like for people to understand my struggle, what I've been through, what I've been up against, what I've overcome, and it's just a, a song about triumph. And whatever you're doing, you're fighting in whatever industry you're in, for people to respect yours and respect what you're doing. And so that's what it's all about. It's that fight for respect and that fight for um, to be seen. And, and to be heard and to finally get your your views voiced. And so Respect Man is probably the most personal song on that album. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for your time, man. Man, thank Congratulations you. Congratulations on the album and everything, man. and good luck with it. Man, thank you. Get right or get left is still the motto. Follow me at Mickey Halstead. Those that know. <laughs> no, as the walk and talk goes on. <laughs> yeah, legend. Peace. Man, fight gone. Man.